So, former light heavyweight world champion Richard Hall, 24 hours before your fight with Paweł Kołodziej here in Poland. Uh, what are your expectations before this fight? Oh, can't say expect, expect anything else and anything different because um, I don't know, publish. All I know is a very big guy. Very, very big. I don't know too much about him. Wish he have a big record. I heard, what 30, 30, 30, you know. So he's a good fighter. I see. And and even though he came in overweight, and I see how it goes. I see how it goes. What do you mean by that? Um, got a lot of things I got to talk to Pomodo about, and Pomodo is supposed to sit down and talk to me. You know, but I have no expectation how the fight is going to go. I know it's going to be, if the fight's happen, it's going to be a good fight. It's going to be a great fight, I know. Because I don't come to sit down for nobody. You know what I mean? Anywhere I go, I bring fire. And that's all I know for, is to bring pain. I'm in a pain business, a hurting business, so I dish pain out. Yes, I take pain, but I able to dish back pain out, so. Hey. So you haven't watched any fight of uh, your opponent? I don't used to do it. I don't watch opponent, never. I just know, know a name. Fighting a guy, his name is so and such, so I just only prepare for a name. Um, I know he have two hands, I have two hands. He beat hard, they have a heartbeat, I got a heartbeat. There's nothing different from him than from me. The only difference is he's a bigger guy than me. I'm, I'm a smaller guy, he's a bigger guy. But I don't see where it's supposed to be a problem. You lost a couple of fights, of your last yeah, fights, yeah. but... Four fights, yes. I lost four. And... You know, always I go to fight. I fight a guy. I fight because... I'm my own manager. No promoter. So I fight guys with their, and their promotion, so... They, whatever they did, they end up getting decision. You know? So... It's always like that. But, uh, okay, but do you still believe that you have uh, uh, enough in you in you uh, to to, com to, to to compete at the elite level? I'm gonna tell you something. You see, so long as I have a pulse, I know I and I, I know I have a lot. Okay, I have a pulse. I beat my heart beat. Then yeah, I still have a lot. I have a lot to give, a whole lot, and I guess I'm 41, but I don't see myself, I don't think as 41. I've been in a lot of wars, I don't move like I've been in a lot of wars, you know. I know guys who who got less to fight than I am, and they seem like they've been into, like somebody use a, can a cannon and hit them with a the cannon and they can't walk and talk anymore. You know, when you know this kind of sports, as as the sports I am, you know what you're in for. You walk into a ring, you like, could leave, your, you could you walk in or you could get dragged out, you know, you could get lift out, I understand. You know, and that's, that's the sports I love. How do you remember your two fights with our Nicholas former yeah, champion Darius Michalczewski. Darius, I don't know if that, I think Darius remember remember it a great because that's must that was one of Darius' greatest fights he ever had. Those two fights, both times I win him, both times, both times I get a loss. <laughs> See, I beat, and both times I get lose, but it's okay, you know. Uh, you win some, you lose some. You win some, you lose some. How you win is okay. 
how you lose is okay, you know. But I thank God and I give all my um, my ability to my father. My father upstairs is my father, and he blessed me where I could go into another main country and take it as mine. And it's my country. You born there, but now I just come there and I take it over. You know, I thank God because I got. I don't know whatever I have, but I, I got a blessing and I thank him for it. And first glory go to Almighty God. Lenny de Jesus, who was a cornerman uh, of you in this fight with Michal Czeski, said that uh, they were crying in Michal Czeski's corner during this <laughs> fight. Do you remember the time? Oh yes, I know. I remember. I remember because he... Um, In the ring, I asked myself, you know, when when the referee stopped the fight, the referee, we get into a clinch. We was in the tenth round. Yes, I was tired, but he was worse than me, you know. We get in the tenth round, and he was so, like, he cannot see no more. The referee pushed him back to the middle, looked at him, and then turned back and waved the fight off. And I'm like, what? Uh, you know, there was no reason for me anymore to say, what the hell I try to hit a referee because if I did it would be like okay I would be getting this suspended you know and then maybe I would get locked up I don't want to get locked up for do my sports love my sports and do my sports but you know I just take it I just take I just take the lose you know just take the lose even though I didn't lose but I take the lose both times I didn't lose but I take the lose you know but I but that's the sports I mean